Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley, time to take a check of your latest local forecast. You can find this and much more at our website, WSKITV.com. And this weather brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. For the day today, increasing clouds. Later on today, we could see some uh, drizzle and some fog rolling in. 37 to 39 for your base temperatures with a very light east wind. 30 to 32 at the summit with an east-southeast wind, 10 to 15 miles an hour. So, unfortunately, we could see some freezing precip, freezing rain, a couple periods of that uh, overnight tonight into Wednesday as we'll see some isolated showers, drizzle, and fog. Look at those high temperatures right around 50 degrees at the base. Summit temperatures topping out in the lower 40s. 40. So not a washout as far as the precip, but it will be wet out there. Grab that Gore-Tex extra change of clothes if you need it. Showers to p.m. snow on Thursday, 45 for a high. Friday, a high of 37, but it looks like there's a good possibility Thursday when that precip changes over to snow we could get some uh significant or not significant but some accumulation uh so keep your fingers for crossed for that 151 trails of ski and ride on on your birchwood interiors trail report eight lifts getting you to 62 groom trails packed powder conditions the skiing and riding is awesome folks hope you can get out there and enjoy the great snow surface snubber and skidway at 8 30 get you around the base area skyline and super quad get you around the mid mountain terrain as well as it'll drop you off at spillway crosscut which lets you branch out all across the whole mountain King Pine and Wiffle Tree, those get going at 9 a.m. Bucksaw Express is going at 8.30. And Timberline winds, weather and conditions permitting at 9 a.m. Gets you to the top of the second highest mountain in Maine. Timberline, Bridal Chain, Tote Road, King's Landing, Hayburner, Haywire, Comp Hill, Narrow Gauge, Sluice, White Nitro, and Wedge. On the groomers list, Hallback, Ram Down, Two Hall, Wiffle Tree, Cruiser, Moose Alley. If you got kids, check that out. Slasher's a great one. And Rollway as well, all groomed out off of Wiffle Tree and King Pine. And Scoot, Lower Windrow, and Horseshoe on the west side, as well as Chipper, Lower Hatchet, and Feller Buncher. Uh, Haywire and the Beaver tra Tail Trail have some soft bump lines that they left on there on the side of the trail for you. So if you want to improve your skills on that, check that out. Uh, all the trails around the base area got groomed out as well. Do want to make note, White Nitro and Wedge, those were groomed out last this morning. So those should be in great shape first thing this morning. Winter is back at the Outdoor Center. They're still out there grooming, uh, setting classic tracks and whatnot, but get down there and enjoy that while it lasts. The Anti-Gravity Complex, a great spot for indoor activity, right down at the bottom of the Axis Road. And Tuesday nights is Pottery Studio, Open Pottery Studio at Casey's Creativity Center, right down in the valley. Give her a call to let, you know, let her know if you're coming or not, but it's a great thing to do on a Tuesday night. Also, this Saturday, Clem and Roland Began are being recognized for their contributions to Carabasset at the town library so check that out also the town manager position is open and applications are due no later than april 16th you can find out more at carabassetvalley.org our quad cam is available so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time seeing weather systems come in and out and whatnot we've got some good time lapse stuff on there too so be sure to check that out uh, our mountain reports return this weekend we've got a watch and win on reggae weekend as well as tons of ways to watch us channel 17 locally we're also streaming at our website spectrum app and we've got a roku channel and don't forget to check us out on social media